Good roll. Okay. So we're gonna see those two bees. That's hanging tree. So we go right here. We come back out that way, and then is there another trail, another way out of here now besides Hanging Tree? No. So this is basically Hanging Tree. The trail, there is an actual marked trail head. Oh, it's wait, like, no. turn around, idiot, because yeah. it's bad. And, it's a, and it says on there it's a level five. Oh. That means you, you flop five times and winch five times. Yes, yes. And it says, rec it gives you all the recommendations from like the 90s. Last time we about got lost coming out of here, so we're going to be following our tracks on Onyx Off Road going back up. We did is... get kind of lost last time. We took two wrong turns. Do you think Matt has, knows what he's gotten himself into? I don't think he understands this trail. We are currently going up this trail, and I'm wondering why we kept going up this trail. <laughs> I think he'll be lost steering not very, I mean, very soon into this. So I'd like to take a second and thank today's sponsor of this video, Onyx Off-Road. This app has literally saved us two times now. Last time we were on Hanging Tree Trail was the night that we got stuck. We ended up getting lost at 11.30 p.m. Luckily, we had the offline map. We were able to zoom in, see exactly where we took the wrong turn, turn around and follow our tracks back to that turn off and get down the mountain safely. Without that app, we could have been searching for hours. Click the link in the description. You're gonna be getting 20% off your elite membership. But best, most of all, go download the app. You don't wanna get in a situation where you wish you would have listened and downloaded it. So we've got a cool project coming up where I'm getting a new vehicle and I want to put a wrap on it. So I reached out to the team at Onyx and this is what I want to do. For anybody that uses my link in the description below, we're going to be adding your name to this wrap on my vehicle. That wrap's going to stay on my on it for an entire year. Anybody that's signed up so far, we're going to add you to it also. You don't have to do anything besides download the app. Once we get enough people on the app, we're going to be sharing our adventures where you guys can actually have interactive, behind the scenes content. You have pictures, waypoints, markers, and cookie crumb trails to see exactly where we went on whatever day we did it. Oh, yeah. We can hear the water leaking down, or the air leaking down. So Matt thinks he's losing a tire. So we're gonna go check it out. Stop. Oh, this isn't good. We're running out of air right now. You gotta go back. Right there. Did you rip it? Sidewall. Yep. Oh, it pinched the sidewall. Where's the leak? Right, right there, there. there. The snake bite. Yeah. This is super bad. That uh, tire's ruined. I have air. Could we could we plug it? We, we got to try and stick all the plugs we can in that thing. So I want to stop this not there though. Yeah. Do you want to? It was worse. Do you? Where do you want it, Matt? Which? Which I position? Want it to the top where we can work on it. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's totally torn. I hit that block super hard. Like, um, do you have a way to pull it off? Like, do you have a jack and everything? No. We have a handyman at the at the Bronco. I've got a spare tire down there. I have air on here, but I don't have an air hose. Spare tire in Hurricane okay. for this. The yeah. fifth tire yeah. for this rig. Do we want to pull this off and go try to patch it inside? We can take it to my shop and dismount it and, and totally... Dang it, I hit this blue rock yeah, so yeah, freaking hard. I could have totally avoided that. We slammed, we slammed into it going way too fast. Well, we could tube it to get you by today. We can pull it off, go put a patch on the inside and put a tube in it. Do we have any way to pull this off though? I got all my, bit, my big impact. I mean, we could just run down, grab everything we need. Three millimeter on the How are we gonna get this out though? Or we could just work on it here. 
Yeah, we could we could do it here. Go? We could go to Herman's. This is my thought, Nick. Go to Hermanson's and get a tube. Go get some patches. Patch the inside of it to where the patches are plugging the two yeah, holes. Yeah, but this getting this, this apart no, to right patch there. the inside yeah. is a massive amount of work. I just wonder how Hillbill even got this far. This shell is crazy. So Hillbilly beat the record? <laughs> Actually, no, I don't know yet, because we're going to fix that tire and the record's going to make it all the way to the top. Hanging tree two, recovery zero. <laughs> I did it. You did. I was a little bit nervous there. Okay. If there's something specific that you come up with that you think we need, just have somebody jump in the can and go down to service. Tube. A boot. boot. Blue. Blue. I got it. All right, we'll be back. Right. We're going to head back down into town and go get the essentials. They just crushed that, didn't they? Oh, yeah. The Bronx Star and the Heavy Wrecker might be having a sleepover in Hanging Tree. <laughs> We're going to call Hillbilly and let him in on what's going on. Hello. Good news and some bad news. What do you want first? Whatever. Well, the bad news is hanging, th hanging tree three, recoveries zero. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, the heavy wreckers broke on hanging tree. <laughs> How bad? Bad enough that it needs fixed and can't move. This is all caused by the Bronx Star not having an LS. So we can either leave it and let it have a sleepover tonight up there again, or we can recover it with Matt's record and then put an LS in it after. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Nope. I guess he didn't get a choice. <laughs> Don't waste an LS. In this is some real caveman stuff right here. Hillbilly just texted me. I don't want an LS. I said, ha 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 ha. I know. This is working out good. I was worried that we weren't qualified. We were just gabbing, not paying attention, throttle to the floor. And then, man, we shifted to the side. All right. Heard anything? No. No, this thing don't care. So this is the weirdest thing. This trail started a half mile back there, but the trailhead official sign is right here. Front rear lockers. Level five. Yeah, a level five. So far, I'd say this is easily a six. And I heard that it gets to like a 10. So we went down into town, went to Hermanson's. We got three different tubes. After that, we headed over to Napa Auto Parts. We got the rest of the stuff. We got a bead breaker, which we don't need. We got tire bars. We had a fudge hammer. We got everything. We went to Napa and cleared them out of stuff. We have like five different tubes. We got patches this big. So this one did not go all the way through, but it cut all the cords. And this cut will fit there nicely. Nicely. This went from a somewhat manageable time frame to all night. Last time we left at this time, we didn't get off the mountain until midnight. We also struggled with the Bronco pretty, pretty hard. We had to winch it up every obstacle. So Hillbilly is not here today. He is with his wife at a dentist appointment. Okay. He gets to miss out on all the fun. He gets to go and break it, get it stuck, and then we go and save it. So I called Hillbilly and let him know that since Matt has, has issues with the heavy wrecker, helping him out, the trade-off is that we get to put an LS in the Bronco and he about had a heart attack. And he started texting me, you're not putting an LS, I'm putting a 5.0 in it. I'm like, nope, sorry. I think 50 feet is excess, but I wasn't sure if 25 was enough. 
So I'm gonna put the valve stem through the bead, the yeah, outer okay. bead of the wheel, just so that it's ready to go. Is this supposed to be angled out or will this interfere? I don't know how we're gonna get air to it. That's what I'm wondering. Um, so we're trying to figure out how to get air to it. We might be able to force this in to air it up. Are you running two patches or just one? Two. Oh, oh so a big one and a small one. Yeah. But see, there's a reason I got two different sizes. One of each. If it's got a slow leak, we can stop and air it up, go air it up. That would be a pain. We're also super lucky. I mean, we never have issues, so. <laughs> we're thinking about airing it up from the backside. 47 years of nothing but good luck. And then today. Hell, Billy! Yeah, he's not even here to enjoy the punishment. Oh, Billy. Oh, Thanks. Right. Instrument. Is that the uh, this is a pre-trail side repair. Oh yes, I haven't made it to the trail yet. <laughs> That's probably bitch. <laughs> okay, perfect. We need the valve stem probably Solid. up. I'm gonna. We're just about lined up with the We need to spin this just one inch. One inch. Okay. okay. There. So we're just trying to get this rotated so that we can get some air in from the backside. So we're going to have the air, we're going to pivot it to where we can get the air chuck in from the backside. Then we use a screwdriver and push it on. So let me see on this side. Man, so close. Here. Can you twist it? Okay, you're on. We're airing up. I'm not moving my hand until we have pressure in it. Okay, Tom, I need to kick this tire. I sure hope that's the sound of residual air. <laughs> Can't even tell it's damaged. Matt's coaching himself. Oh, Don't yeah. drive like an idiot. Yeah. Don't drive like hillbilly. I think that's it. Yeah, hanging, tree, hanging tree three, us one. We're on a trend upwards. We okay. Can go over right now. Yeah. Over ahead. We got a win. We should just head out of here. Yeah. All right. I think we are ready to go start the video. I've never had an intro two thirds of the video in. We were talking about it while you were gone. What's Robbie thinking? What we're makes you think that. we're only two thirds of the way in right now? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are finally to the trailhead. And last week, we broke a cardinal rule right up there on the trailhead. We packed something in and we didn't pack it out. So we made a call to Matt's Off-Road Recovery. Hello. <laughs> he brought the world's largest off-road wrecker to come and rescue the Bronx Star for us. We thought this was gonna be boring, but it's already started out exciting. We've got a trail repair in the books. We've got a pre-trail trail repair in the books and we're headed to the top to go get the Bronx Star. All on a level five. And all, <laughs> level five. I don't know how that's a level five, but I'll tell you this, the rest of the day is gonna go silky smooth. That's right. We're gonna slide on through the rest of the day. And we're starting the video right now. Again. So we're gonna drop a waypoint on Onyx Off-Road, exactly where the heavy wrecker got its first flat tire. You're gonna have to make sure and click the link in the description, download the app, so we can share that folder with you. Oh, 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 oh. You're right on a rock! You can get it. Okay. He's just a lot more cautious. So, I knew I couldn't make this last time. I pulled up in there and I backed up this hill. How many miles up is the Bronx? Uh, it's still a ways from here. Oh, a front tire off the ground. Nice. So this is the first obstacle, the first waterfall, and this is the first one that Robbie tipped on. Well, the only one Robbie tipped on. So hopefully this time nobody tips. Let's cross our fingers. Yeah. 
You don't want to roll it? No, we won't roll it today. Well, luckily that's the hardest part for the Can-Am. One of 20. But the Bronco made it up it. Yeah. How far are we from the wreckage? Right up there. So, there we are. <laughs> that one right there is Hillbilly. So like four inches, got it. Yeah, four inches at 10 miles an inch. Dumb way to die. Oh, well, that's intense. The heavy wrecker was almost vertically on its side. So, I am still all for bringing the Lamo up here. We might need rear steer. I think it could make it. What do you guys think? Just another day. But the wrecker's having a kind of a hard time getting up this little waterfall right here. It's so, so slick that it is hard to get up all the rocks and do the things like you would normally in like Moab or Sand Hollow. What have you got me into? <laughs> it's a level five trail, man. I know. Oh, for like a motorcycle. Crazy, like an enduro. This is yeah. crazy, huh? At least you're like able to kind of go. This is like stuck on everything. I've never been on a trail where I've drug bottom as much as this one. I think I, we should put together like an actual trail ride when we have the rigs and come do it. Can you imagine the nightmare it would be with that rig without rear steer? Oh, no, I, I keep watching the articulation of the way you're able to go around it. Yeah, without rear steer, I don't think so. And that boy, the girls right there was a hanging tree. You don't need an overly built off-road rig, but it helps, it does help. Nothing to see here. That was hard. I fell down on my butt. The whole bottom of the frame is smashed. You know, you'll get that with these bigger jobs. Some people take those easy Moab trails. We like to just drive straight up rivers. I have no idea how the Bronx Heart made it this far because I feel like we are struggling way harder this time. Record's doing awesome. I just want to sit here and watch it the whole time. That thing is built for sand, but it's doing just fine on the rocks. So, Nick and the Wrecker, I have kind of made it through, but I think Robbie's stuck. I'll go check. Gotta drive to this straight forward. <laughs> Don't break it. I think we go to that rock, it'll help it. You want to just wedge it in there? I think right around here. Be good. Oh my goodness. It worked. We're way ahead of schedule, just so you know. So how was the Bronx Star getting pretty good? Pretty good till here? Yeah, pretty good till here. That's exactly where the Bronco broke. He hit that and then got Oh yeah, it. that's where he went to the transfer case. Some good news. When we were here, the last time it was starting to get dark about this spot. So I think we're ahead of schedule. Maybe we'll get off before midnight. Hey, no Matt, that's the one that gets the door on everybody. That rock. Keep on giving. 
I think I'm gonna go right through those rocks right there. This thing looks so cool from behind because you see it hit a rock and then just very slowly just I'm just raise goes up right over up it. over it. So as you just saw, Matt gave us a, a lesson in how to just drive over everything. I'm gonna take the high line and I'm gonna try to dodge all these rocks and bounce up this. Now this is river rock crawling. Now you see, you don't need a heavy wrecker, but it helps, it does help. This part right here, it was the only place that I was a little bit worried about the wrecker coming, but I think it'll be just fine. If not, everyone said they can tie up to trees and they'll be great, so. Looking good. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's sketchy. I was just coming to guide you. We got, got it. <laughs> we got bad around the edge. This ain't my first rodeo. It, it's not that bad of an angle for the record, but you just so look, that, yeah. you're looking down there and you're watching the dirt kind of slough oh, away. Like, and... So it's easier from here to hillbillies. Well, no. I think it gets worse. I think it does. <laughs> but I think we're only like one inch away. It's like right Hey, now. we've got like one, two, three more turns is all, but two inches on the map. I'm going to say this is the hanging tree because of that tree, and you have to hang from it yeah. to get around it. I've officially beat my entire frame up, lost my plastics, but we've made it. But I made it. That took me like 10 tries last time. I did it one this time. You just gotta send it. So I'm gonna check the Onyx app. So we are just about there. So we are the red dot. Right here is end of the line for Hillbilly. The trailhead started right there. We are there. We got two more waypoints to go. And then this is the top waterfall right there. So we're, we're getting there. I found that star. Just remember, do not go up this trail by yourself. Bring another vehicle. It's that crazy. Not a pleasant surprise. There it is in all its beautiful glory. We finally made it here. Robbie, you said we were never gonna make it here. You know what? I lied. So I yeah. startled. I wanted you to be startled when it came around. Look, we hit it so nobody would steal it. If we can get steering back, which I don't, I don't there's something wrong. Yeah, oh yeah, steering box is broke. Power steering pump's junk. We're gonna put a line on it and fill it full of fluid. So at least if it decides to have anything. Yeah. And then we're gonna throw steam in it. You're gonna throw me in it so if something breaks, I never hear the end of it. Yep. It's already broken. So then here's here's the deal. If it, if it runs with the rear, rear wheel drive. Use it to assist. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking we're gonna hook up to it. Put the hose on and see what it does. Okay. Bill Billy was saying that sometimes it would just take off. Sometimes it's And that means that happens. there's metal in there that's yes. missing. Yes. It's got some rust prevention on it. Yes, we oiled it. You're moving side to side a little bit. The lower was not enough, and so that's why it's pushing. Man, I packed lunch, but I didn't pack any supper. Do <laughs> you want to see what a super overheated power steering pump looks like internally? Uh, did it melt the, oh, yeah. the thing off? The oh. whole, look down inside here, the whole thing's melted. The, I don't think the hose is going to fix this. No. no. 
but it's gonna make it to where fluid won't go everywhere. So I got one hot enough on a tow truck to melt that dipstick off. I would say that that's pretty hot. Wherever that plastic came from, it's not supposed to be there. There's like a hundred obstacles. I watch you just snake through and I struggle with them, but every hundred and one obstacle, you struggle on something I just drive through. Drive through. I'm glad you feel good about that, Matt. Yeah, I appreciate you doing that for me. What do you think of this trail so far? This trail is amazing. This is... So does that mean you're gonna come back? I will, I will come back. I think I want a buggy for it though. I'm not bringing the banana or the Morver. There's paint on rocks. Sorry, Hillbilly, we're taking this pile back and putting LS in it. Yeah, I would, I would at least triangulate this one. Yeah, which one? The one. The one that you can. The lower just need to be then, triangulated well, more. Yeah, and then those those lower back ones could be put together further, a little bit, a little bit more. more inches. It would help. We got one big obstacle left. No, there's like, like three or four, 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 five. Let's just add five or six. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll we'll just take one at a time. Matt's okay. gonna just hook up and lift the front end. Uh, this has no steering, has no four wheel drive. Finish? Matt's gonna lift it and pull it as far as he can get it, and then winch it up the obstacles. What is this crap? Defamation. Stacy. <laughs> Look at whose sticker stayed stick. All right. That's fair enough. Right. And we'll figure out the rock. Stacy. We got lucky to lose top of the hill. The heavy wrecker takes the Bronx Star with ease. Look at that. He told me he was a little scared. I don't know why he's scared. Oh man, two wheels are still on the ground. You're good. That looked big. It's nothing. That's like baby waterfall compared to grandpa up here. The heavy wrecker is doing exactly what we knew it would do. It's carrying the Bronx Star off the mountain perfectly fine.
top. But this dang thing won't stay running. When it dies, it becomes a boat anchor and it just holds them right back. So right now, the heavy wreckers winch is stuck. What they're trying to do is they're going to winch to a tree and pull up the front star and the heavy wrecker. But right now, Nick's going to back up and get the heavy wrecker's winch. They got the winch. Ow. All right, now I gotta go. We just have one more little obstacle and we're at the top of the hill. But I still have to get that cat arm out of here and I'm gonna shoot out of this like a rocket. <laughs> nice, man. Yeah, move. Whoa, dude, right there. Hey, hi. That hey, was, that was me. <laughs> Fourth time's a charm, baby girl. Fourth time's a charm, I'm telling you. This is a cool trail. Rob, you can't tell anybody about this I trail. know, because everybody, everybody want to show up. Good job. That was so awesome. The Bronx Star was literally like this. Yeah, I'm like, no wonder it's not running. <laughs> yeah. So is that the last big obstacle? So now we just have to get out of a mud hole. Ooh. That was cool. That was awesome. When this is empty, like the trail was out of, <laughs> it was difficult. Out. Hook that onto it, and it's kind of a sink. The wrecker does wrecker stuff. From what yeah. everybody's saying is it makes it 10 times harder. Oh yeah. Like, so, this is the first year it's had water in a long time. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. 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 Yeah. Is it victory pie time? Time to eat it. I think we better get down off the mountain. I'm gonna get off the mountain. Oh. <laughs> oh. You can see the last time we were here, we missed a road and it was midnight. So we went all the way to a locked gate. Then look at that. You can see us turn it around and we had to go all the way back. We followed our offline map until we saw a road right here. And that's the road that got us home. That takes us right back down to Left Hand Fork. If we didn't have this offline map, we would have been lost. So for anybody that tries to come here and do this trail, do not turn right at the top. It takes you through private property. You will not be able to get through it. We have permission and we have access to get through the gate, but the general public does not have access. So do not go on private property. Take the public route out, which is left. So right here with the forks in the road and we didn't know. And at midnight, it all looks the same. So we just took the high road thinking that was the way out. Hold the brake. Good. Okay, I'm gonna give her a little thin. You hit a good bump and it falls into gear. It's working good, man. You're, as far as uh, everybody I've ever towed, you're on the top shelf there, so. Well, we made it back to Left Hand Fork. Could anything else have gotten that out? No, no way. That was a diss on Rory. <laughs> oh. uh, Rory, I wouldn't put up with that. Call Robbie right now, tell him how you feel. Well, if the record would have broke down, you could have came and got it, but it wasn't gonna break down. All I gotta say Hi. is, that tire's good to go. I, I We were talking about it. We're gonna pull that patch off, put a glue tread on it, and just run it. it. Why not? You know it'll, sidewalk's holding. I know, it just did that. <laughs> and I'm not gonna do anything that sketchy again. If you need your sidewall patched, call Matt at Matt's Tire, Matt's Off-Road and Tire Repair. <laughs> at Tom Tom's Tire Shop. Yeah.
Tom Tom's Tire Pros. All right, so we're gonna take Hillbilly as prized possession and make him haul it back to the shop. Well, Hillbilly's just like a blister. Shows up when the work is done. Your car listens when it's hooked to Matt's tow truck. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't talk back. <laughs> It took all part to spring off all the beadlock out of it. Big old eight inch patch on the inside, patch the outside, made it just fine. So the shirt you wear. Extra fat. So was it a very struggling trail for this? Oh man, no. Let's just say this we almost climbed the last waterfall. I had the front wheels completely up over, but they said I didn't have my lockers on. And it and I stalled that out right at the, right as he was topping it. And, and then we shot back. down there like a bobsled. That made you a little nervous. <laughs> it did. Very <laughs> oh. oh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> All right, so it was successful. We made a call. Matt came up and saved the day. <laughs> Hill Billy showed up when the work was done. And that's that. So as always, we appreciate you. If you enjoyed this video, go check out this one.